This short video is about the intramuscular injection. So once eligibility is confirmed and the consent process is complete, the injection should be given as soon as possible after the injury. First, you need to look at the patient's muscles and decide where to inject. The injection can be given into the thigh, shoulder or buttock in the ventrogluteal site. Choose the most suitable site for the injection and assess the muscle to see if you need to prepare one or two injections. The 500 mg dose of tranexamic acid or placebo can be given to most patients as a single 5 mL injection of 100 mg per mL. But if the patient has small muscles, it can be divided into two 2.5 mL injections. Next, you have to choose the right needle. Now, the needle gauge will be something between 19 and 25, and the length of the needle will be 1 to 1.5 inches long, although you might have to use a longer needle up to 3 inches long in obese patients. The 21 gauge needle, the green needle, would be the needle that you'd use for, the most, for most patients. Use the Z-Track method to seal the medication in the muscle. This method prevents the treatment leaking out by making a bend in the track created by the needle. Gently but firmly pull the skin away from the injection site with a non-dominant hand. Hold it there while inserting the needle into the muscle at a 90 degree angle. Then push down the plunger to inject the medication slowly into the patient's muscle. Wait several seconds before withdrawing the needle to allow the, the medication to disperse into the muscle. And then pull out the needle, keeping it at that 90 degree angle. Release the skin to let it return to its original position. And this Z-Track approach will seal in the medication into the muscle, preventing it from leaking out. If you're dividing the dose into two, select a different muscle group for the second injection and follow the same steps. When all of this is done, you throw away the used materials safely as per your local procedures. Thank you for watching this video.